G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today we're going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. So let's have a look at this example right here. We have two equations. The first one we have is this one. We have 4x plus y is equal to 15 and we have a second equation 3x plus 2y is equal to 10. And like we said we're going to solve these using the elimination method. So what this means is what we're going to do is we're going to start by having a look at the coefficients in front of each variable here. Now the variables, they're those letters and the coefficients are the numbers in front of those. So we have 4x and 3x, they're not the same, and we have y and 2y, they're not the same. The trick to solving this using the elimination method is to make one of the sets of variables, either x or y, for each equation the same. And how do we do this? Well, we're going to multiply entire equations. I'm going to show you what this means. So we have 2y here and we have y here. What we could do is we could multiply this entire equation, equation 1 here, and this would give us 2y in the equation. And that's what we're going to do. So let's do this. We're going to get a brand new equation 1 by multiplying. So 4x multiplied by 2 is equal to 8x plus y times 2 is equal to 2y. And this is equal to... 15 times 2, which is equal to 30. And what we've done is we've made the coefficient in front of the variable y the same. We've both got 2y here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take one equation from the other. We are going to eliminate it. Okay, so having a look at the variables for x, we can see that 8x is bigger than 3x. We're going to get equation 1, and we're going to subtract equation 2. Let's do this. Let's eliminate. 8x take away 3x is equal to to 5x. We have 2y, take away 2y, this is equal to 0, I'm not going to bother write anything down there, and this is equal to, we have 30 minus 10, which is equal to 20. So there you go, we have 5x is equal to 20. Now this is really simple to solve, because if 5 times the number is equal to 20, we can solve really easy for x. x is going to be equal to 4. So I'm going to put a little circle around that, just to make sure we don't lose that answer, okay? So now let's work out what the variable y is. And we're going to do this by substituting the value of x into these equations over here. So let's substitute into equation 1. So we have 4x plus y is equal to 15. And let's substitute x equals 4 into this. So if we do this, well if x equals 4, 4x is equal to 16. 16 plus y is equal to 15. Now you ask yourself, what number do you add to 16 to get 15? Well, you don't. You take away a number. We have y is equal to negative 1. That is to say, 16 minus 1 is equal to 15. So we have a value of y is equal to negative 1. Once again, I'll put a circle around that just so we don't lose that. Now, you could leave that right here, but sometimes I think it's worth having a bit of a check if you have time, just to make sure you have the right answer. Now, how do you do this? You just substitute into the other equation. We're going to substitute our x and y values into this second equation. So we have 3x uh, plus 2y, which is equal to 10. All right, let's substitute in. 3x, x is equal to 4, that's equal to 12. We have y equal to negative 1, so 2y is negative 2. And this is equal to 10. 12 take away 2 is indeed 10. We've checked it. We've got the right answer. Happy days. And there you go. That's how you solve simultaneous equations using the elimination method. Now, if you check in the description, you're going to see some more examples here. If you do like this video, please remember, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, like and subscribe. All those good things. See you next time. Bye.